Does the Dermacol foundation really work on oily skin? Let's find out together! What's up? It's Caribel. How are you? In this video, we have some Dermacol products to test it out. I'm really curious, so I have heard lots of mixed reviews from Dermacol Full Coverage Foundation. As you guys can see, this is the original makeup, not the fake one. I don't usually order my makeup from Amazon or from the eBay because there are unfortunately a lot of fake makeup and you can never know what is the original one and what is the fake one. I have ordered it from Notino. I have a Dermacol primer right here. This is the Dermacol Satin Makeup Base. The mattifying powder also from Dermacol of course. This is the Dermacol Compact Powder. And this is the Dermacol Mattifying Powder for Problematic Skin in the shade Sand. I have here the shade 207 and 209. Let's see what shade is matching for me. So, first of all, let's put in the test the Dermacol Satin Makeup Base. I have original zero experience with Dermacol products, so I'm really curious and excited how does they work on my skin. I have normal to oily skin, rather on the oilier side, so I'm really curious how does it will last on my skin. As you guys can see, this is the winter time, so my skin is not really in the best condition. I have really big, I have huge pores on both sides of my face and I have some pimples going on and I have really really big fine lines on my forehead, one, two, three, four, five. I have really high hopes for the Dermacol foundation. Come on. So it has a really jelly consistency as you guys can see it. So let's see. So. Good. It doesn't dry to a matte finish. It says this is a skin smoothing and mattifying makeup base. It claims to minimize my fine lines, so on my forehead. So no, I can see my fine lines pretty well, so it doesn't does that. This is dermatologically tested, so my base is definitely matte right now. Mattifying, okay. Minimize the fine lines, not really in my skin. Packaging looks like this. Is a really nice packaging? Feels really high end with this sheen to it. It made in uh, Europe, in Czech Republic, of course. So it has a 24 month expired date. It's clinically tested, hypoallergenic and high coverage. Dermacol makeup cover is one of the first cover up makeup products released on the world market. Formula was developed in the Brown Film Studios in Prague for professional makeup artists and subs subsequently sold in Hollywood. Its unique creamy consistency containing 50% pigments hides uneven skin color and blemishes smooths the key, smoothens the skin and gives a velvety matte appearance. Yeah! Dermacol makeup cover provides the skin with intense protection against UV radiation SPF 30 in it. Maybe it has a really intense flashback, let's see. As well as against the harmful effects of the environment. It can be used on the entire face and body for color correction, lightening or darkening skin tones or for professional makeup applications such as photography, modeling and special occasions. Okay, so it's long lasting effect, it's still for covering minor flaws or extensive skin defects such as dark circles under the eyes, scars, spots, loss of pigment and blemishes. Basically, it's all what I need. It's improved appearance of tired pale skin, giving a refreshing look and revitalized complexion. Oh yes. Dermacol makeup cover is waterproof and has been dermatologically tested. It's suitable for all skin types. Hmm. 
good be roughly 10 minutes since I have primed my face with the satin makeup base and I can say it has dried fully matte and my pores is a little bit smaller than usual however I can see my fine lines so not bad I think this is definitely not my skin okay she's thick She's really really thick as you can you guys can see this is thick Okay Yeah, I think it's not my color match So this is the shade 209 Let's see Yeah, it's definitely better so it's definitely my shade so I have used the tiniest amount of what I can cut from this so basically what you can see the tiniest amount what I can use from this one yeah we got a match okay This foundation dries almost instantly, so be careful with this one, but oh my god! Pores are gone! It's like a whale! And I have used literally the teeny tiniest amount what I could use from a foundation. Oh my god! A really tiniest amount, only just to my forehead. So, here, here. And only just a little spots, nothing too crazy, and on my under eye circles. Let's make it real. Good. So, she's thick. She's so thick. So I, I didn't use too much because I have heard if you're using too much because the consistency is really really thick then it wouldn't last on your face. Like, oh my god it's beautiful. My skin never looked like so good. I'm feeling again 17 right now. So let's make a close up. This is beautiful. Oh my god. Oh. Skin look flawless. So never looked so flawless. Like this right now. I don't have... Uh -uh. Oh wow. I don't have to use a concealer with this foundation. It's like no blueness breaking through under my eyes. I definitely can see my fine lines on my forehead, but it's not so big deal. It happens with me always with a foundation. To set, of course, this foundation with a setting powder, which looks like this. It comes with a really cheap packaging. Here on the powder, one more plastic sheet to protect your powder, which is really smart. Oh, it smells so bad. Oh my god. Ooh, it smells literally like medicine. I have to say, the smell of it is horrible. It smells like medicine. It's awful. In a little bit from this one. It claims to be a mattifying and pore minimizing powder for a problematic skin. So, maybe. Let's see. What the actual fuck? My skin looks like perfect, just like Perfect. This is without a powder, 
it's a little bit shine picking through I can see a little bit of texture from my skin and here is nothing like a whale like nothing like the perfect Instagram skin like oh my god I have found my holy grail foundation I think so yeah so let's make it on the other side as well it's like oh my it smells horrible it smells really like medicine it smells really really horrible it has a really really strong scent to it which I really don't like that on your face the smell is gone I can't smell anything like medicine on my face right now this is beautiful flawless I I can't feel anything on my face right now this is amazing because the consistency is really really thick also with the powder this is a really finely milled and really thick powder I never had my face so flawless before yeah if I was 17 or something but uh, this is not here so far so good for my first impressions this is my new holy grail foundation this is amazing my face is completely removed I my texture like my pores and things so bye bye pores <laughs> price wise is really not a big deal so on the notino.com powder was roughly 3 euro 99 cents so roughly 4 euro and the dermaco foundation was 9 euro 99 cents so it's really not a big deal this is a drugstore price i'm gonna do off camera the rest of my makeup eyeshadow bronzer like everything and of course we are gonna put this foundation in a wear test because the real test for a foundation as I said in my earlier in my previous video this is always the wear test foundation is on for a one one and a half hour I can I would say now is 11 53 I will go to work and I will check in at the evening only and we will see how well this foundation works throughout the day after the work I will make the check-in roughly 10 or 11 p.m. as just always Dermacol, you better work for the next 13 or 12 hours see you guys in a couple of hours hey guys it's Kami Bell again how are you? I hope you're doing well so I just done my work today 22.30 it's 10.30 p.m. so that means foundation is on for 12 hours roughly as you guys can see my makeup is also a little bit messed up and it was a long day you guys so i'm really tired coverage is amazing i don't have any complaint about however it looks like a little bit cakey on my face as i said earlier for reference i have oily skin and it didn't move the coverage is in lions has cracked a little tiny bit under my eye but it's really not a big deal I haven't touched up or anything my foundation for today it looks really shiny as you guys can see it's so 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 shiny I look like a grease ball if you are touching up this foundation with a little bit of powder then it's not a big deal it's not a mattifying foundation I can say to you so for oily skin you have to really set your this foundation on your on your face because you would look like a grease ball so I have used a mattifying setting spray I have used of course the mattifying powder here is a close-up the foundation looks like this after 12 hours on my face so let's see it has cracked only just once a little bit on my smile line and i have some crackness under my eyes i can definitely see my fine lines a little bit more as just usual but overall i have to say I might have my holy grail foundation this foundation I think if you are setting this up 
with a really good primer and the mattifying powder then for dry skin tone it would work flawlessly for oily skin as just I then you have to set it you have to use a mattifying powder you have to use a mattifying spray and a really good primer under this foundation but I think overall this is a really really good foundation I'm really impressed you guys every girl with oily skin you have to touch up this foundation if you touch up your makeup of course with a powder or anything I think one times at least or two times would look really fine this is the foundation how it looks on my skin it is really really shiny as I said but overall the coverage is in line it didn't move and I think this foundation looks beautiful on my skin after 12 hours in comparison with my other foundation and everything else what I have ever tried in my life. This foundation would be definitely a must have in my makeup collection and I will definitely use this on daily basis I think. This completes my video for today. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it. If you do please subscribe to my lovely channel and see you in my next video. Bye!